we get a diagram that we're told is not drawn to scale. And then we're told if AB is parallel to CE, CE is equal length to, to DE, and Y is 45 degrees, then find X. Well, we have several geometry facts in this problem. This is a really rich problem geometrically. So first of all, this is 45 degrees. The two lines that are parallel, I'll indicate with these arrows. And then the two segments that are congruent, I'll indicate with these ticks. Well, if we look at triangle ECD, two of the three sides are congruent. That means it is an isosceles triangle. And there's an amazing theorem, the isosceles triangle theorem, which says that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite them, this angle and this angle, those also have to be congruent. So right away, we know those two are equal angles. Fact number two, these two lines here are parallel. What that means is that it divides the triangles in such a way that the two triangles are similar. These similar triangles are the smaller triangle, ECD, and the larger triangle, ABD. These are similar triangles, meaning that they have exactly the same angles. So that means the angle here at A also has to be Y equal to the angle at E. The angle here at C has to be X equal to the angle at B. And that means, because of the isosceles triangle theorem, this angle here is also X. So now, every angle here we know it's labeled either X or Y. Well, finally, I'm going to use yet another amazing fact about triangles, the 180 degree triangle theorem. This tells us that the sum of the three angles of any triangle, any triangle at all, the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Absolutely amazing. So in triangle ECD, the smaller triangle, we have 45 plus X plus X equals 180. So I'm going to subtract 45 from both sides. We get 2x equals 180 minus 45. That's 135. Then divide both sides by 2. x equals 67.5. And of course, that equals every x in the diagram, including the x we were looking for. So this is answer choice C.